Well, Chris Pine and Zachary Kinto step into the con their iconic shoes of Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock in the new Star Trek movie. Your favorite, San Diego Six's Kelly Gillespie talked with the duo about stepping out in faith and their first encounter with Leonard Nimoy right here in San Diego. Who are you? I'm with him. with me. We are traveling at warp speed. How did you manage to beam aboard this ship? Hey, you're the genius. You figure it out. As acting captain of this vessel, I order you to answer the question. Well, I'm not telling, acting captain. Is he, you know, is kind of unsure about what, where his destiny is going to be, what he's doing. And he rolls up and he sees, you know, kind of the Enterprise under construction. And there's this stirring in him. And he's mm -hmm. like, i got to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Is, is there been a time in your life where you, you haven't really known how it's going to end up, but you were like, I need to do this, I need to step out on faith? And... Absolutely. I mean, I think I think what you speak to is also what makes, hopefully, his his journey accessible to a lot of people. I, I, don't, I can't think of anybody that's not faced something like that before, whether it be... I mean, it could be anything, going to college or, you know, moving buying the house or moving or whatever. It's... it's um, in you know, in the face of uncertainty, I think a lot of times we you know want to retreat into the shadows, and you were were run by fear. And I think the great thing about Kirk is, as much as he's kind of a a punk and he's brash and and um, uh, and scared in the beginning, he really does step up to the plate, and he's kind of beaten down time and time again. Um, but how great that he actually you know is able to kind of face his fears, and I think it's a it's a nice lesson for all of for me especially, you know, to to really to follow that. Um, to follow that, uh, to follow that fear, to face it. And getting Leonard Nimoy, Nimoy to come back, I mean, that's got to be neat. What was it like when you two first met? It was in an elevator in San Diego, actually. Really? Yeah, totally at Comic Con, uh -huh. right? We were both there to announce that I'd be playing the role and that he'd be in the movie. And of course, they drove us around and you know ushered us in the back door and tried to keep it all hush hush because people didn't even know he was going to be there. Uh, so then there were all of our handlers and all the people and all the reps and everybody like piled into this slow moving freight elevator. The Spock Wranglers. The Spock Wranglers. The, yeah. the Spranglers. Spray <laughs> and uh, and so we're in this elevator. There's got to be 20 people in this freight elevator. It's just moving very slowly. And at some point, someone was like, "Oh, uh, Mr. Nimoy, this is Zach." And he was like, "Hey, kid." And I was like, "Hey, how are you?" Whatever. And then like it's moving, 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 and then. The the door opens and he literally just looks at me and he goes, you have no idea what you're in for, kid. And then he's just out the door and like <laughs> off. And I was like, wait, help. Like, oh, you know. So it was a pretty, and then subsequently we got to know each other and we spent time together and, and have become friends. And he was so supportive and available and open and gave me creative freedom and yet was still a resource at any time that I needed him to be. And just getting to know the impact that this character's had on his life and uh, the creative journey that he's had has been such an inspiration for me and I have such a deep affinity for him, so it was a great honor.